Well, hello there. Welcome to Thrifty Journal Shop. If you are new here, welcome. My name's Amber. I'm so happy you stopped by. And for all of you that keep coming back, I'm so happy you're here and thank you. All right, today I'm gonna share three of my latest creations. One of them is reserved. A while back, I put out a video putting some feelers out there of what you guys were interested in me making for Christmas. And I had these three covers and this one I had a few interest in. So this one is spoken for and I thought, okay, I'm gonna make the other two. I made this one and I loved the way that it came out or I love the way it turned out. And I was like, I'm making the other two. I tried something different with these. So for those of you who've been around and you have seen some of my other journals, and this journal is spoken for too. And at some point I'm gonna do a flip through. When I make my journals now, especially these larger styled glue book journals where they're big, you know, where they're long, I like to have a wraparound spine, a flexible spine for a few reasons. They lay flat and also it's, it's very pliable. If you wanted to sew yourself, if you wanted to paint, um, it's just my preferred way of making them. And it's also my preferred way of working in them. I find the more I personally work in journals, I, I find what I like to do and I, that's how I prefer to make them. And everybody has their own style. So for all of these, I was using what I had. Last year, I got a vintage kit, vintage Christmas kit through eBay. I treat eBay sometimes like an online estate sale because I don't really, estate sales are few and far between because I kind of live out in the country a bit. I'll, I got this kit and I said, that's it. I'm going to use this and I don't need for Christmas fabric because I'm just going to create with what I have and fabric is something I also thrift for and I, I was really just going to use what I have and that to me is very sort of freeing for me. And it really pushes my creativity. And this one actually is kind of cool because this is so non-traditional Christmas colors, which I love. I think this is like one of my favorites because this is actually a um, quilt patch. And then this is just some fabric thrifted. I scrapped it all together and we made a, um, a spine. So and this is like a canvas paper. A lot of these I use canvas paper, file folder, or paper sack. So for these, and the inspiration behind these was, one more journal, <laughs> was this journal and some of my other journals. I had two golden books around Easter that I made and I had sewn them on a quilt. I love doing that. I like sewing chipboard onto soft things. However, this book was really thick or, I mean, it's pretty thick. And I just, I didn't want to, I didn't really want to sew through it. Um, I think that day I was just like, I didn't feel like breaking needles because that does happen. It does happen. It happens for me. Um, you know, that's just trial and error. So, and I also wanted to see how glue, tacky glue and super, super glue, not super glue, a glue gun would hold up to see if I would make more of these to sell. I love this journal. I'm, this is my memory keeper for my sweet boy jazz. And at some point I'm going to do um, a flip through of it. It just turned out super cool. And I love the softness. So I said, I'm going to make a soft spine. So that's what I did. So the base of this is this quilt. And this quilt is a quilt my mom gave me. It's very 80s. It was stained. Um, but I like the fact that it has the batting in it. And I want I want to reuse and repurpose things. That's my, that's my model. That's my mojo. Okay. So that's what I did here. So all of, so these are very floppy. Um, these are very pliable, but very sturdy. Then these are very large spines. So I, this is a couple layers of quilt together. Then I can't see, let me open it. I've got goodies in here too, that are coming with these. Okay, so here's the spine. So I used, so I used this as the base. I had these quilt block squares I got, and I didn't have any traditional color Christmas colors, which this, it all sort of worked out. I think it looks really cute with this. 
I love the heart. And then I did have some red and white fabric and some green, this pretty blue here. And so I just um, scrapped it around, sewed it. And then there's three signatures on all of these. They all do have full size long gated pages for the most part. When I make these journals, they take me, they do, they take time, they, they take some time because I have to, I hinge all the pages together. I do a five hole pamphlet stitch just to secure it. And so there is a lot of time in these, but I really do like making these. So they all have three signatures. There's about 120 some pages total, including front and back. They are all similar, but yet a little bit different. So this one is the Creative Ideas for Christmas 1987. Has that really big, beautiful spine. I mean, it's, it is gorgeous. So you want, and okay. see how you can see the fabric, the spine through there, all the random colors. It's nice and squishy. <laughs> These journals are, I mean, you can use this however you want. These are more probably like a glue book style. I didn't put a lot of fabric in here. I didn't put a lot of pockets. Um, I really don't try to over embellish or decorate for you. I sort of just give you what it is and let you go for it. But what I'm including in these is a lot of the original book pages from all three of these books and from some other um, Christmas books that I have. So you'll get um, a variety of papers. And then I just have like this little cute goodie bag and I'll open one of them sort of sh and show you what's inside because they all sort of have similar things. So included is a lot of this really pretty Dollar Tree paper. And here's just a little, uh, little card I made. I've got these vintage tags. This was from that kit. These are Holly Hobby. These two are. Here's another little vintage tag. This was from last year I got at the Dollar Tree. This is another little vintage tag. And then this year I did buy just at the Dollar Tree, I just bought one of tags. And you're gonna get all of that in these goodies in here. Okay, so the front here is a front fabric pocket and I just added some stationery that I have. And this is um, a vintage stationery or um, some kind of postcard. So that'll be in there. I left the original um, background and then this is just a pocket. I took a file folder and sewed the pocket and then glued the file folder on and just put some trim here. Scrapbook paper. A lot of the pages I included in here are from, like I said, all three of these books and other Christmas books that I have. Music paper, Monopoly money. This is original book page. I think this is from a holiday book with cakes. I did include some pages from um, The Night Before Christmas. And then when I hinge these, I use my scraps when I cut the pages down. And a lot of times I'll use my funky shape scissors just to kind of give it a different look. Um, this is from a children's book. I've got some ideal books that came in that kit. Gorgeous, gorgeous papers. I love this little children's book. It's, it's more of a winter theme. And this was a really cute um, children's book about uh, the little boy's Christmas. Look at those illustrations. There's lots of pretty pages in here. You know, if you just want to leave these papers as is, The Night Before Christmas. This was from a vintage The Night Before Christmas. I did cut it down a little bit. Part of it was stained, but some of these pages I had to cut down to fit in here because this was a really large book. Here is a fabric pocket with some messy stitching and some trim. And then I included some stickers and I've got this really cool Peanuts book that goes from like the 50s to the 2000s. So I just included a couple pages from that book. I love Charlie Brown. Snoopy, he cracks me up. Okay, music paper. Um, this is, and this paper is nice and thick. This is, I think, original book page. I put some scrapbook paper in here. You've got some white space so you can have at it. 
um, and that is um, the scrapbook paper. Um, more scrapbook paper. And in here, in all of these, I included um, one of my little pockets that I made. And this is just playing cards. And I sewed around it. Here's some vintage wallpaper. I added a button. And then in here, I just included some really cute tags. I just like how they're all sort of peeking out. This is from another A Night Before Christmas book. Original book page, and some of these are so cute because it's just 80s, the little mouse. It's really pretty. This is another children's book. This is some stationery, and I did um, sew an envelope on here, and here is um, a card. This is, I think, from an Avon book from the 80s, um, a vintage Christmas card. This is from a cookbook for chocolate. I did include some pages from the Red Nose Reindeer. This is from a little golden book. Here's a little Santa. This is that Avon book. This is some vintage um, stationery my mom gave me. It's nice and thick. So you have lots of color in here, lots of places to create. I love the scrapbook paper. It's double-sided. It's nice and thick. That was a really cool score at a thrift store. And there you can see the, um, oh, that was the second signature. I don't know if I mentioned that. There you can see that really cool scrappy fabric. This is the third signature. And here is a um, page from a calendar. And it was pretty thin, so I just sewed a, piece of construction paper for some more security. And there's a tuck right there, children's book page. I included some coloring book paper. I've got this beautiful bird book and I tried to find winter images. It's nice and thick. This was out of some science book, but I thought it was pretty with the crystals. Original book page, I did add this paper going this way. I just thought it was cute because you can see the Santa. And then here's this page was in the front of the book it goes with the Santa there more of the mouse <laughs> more ideals that's so cute got the cinnamon coming out of the coffee ideals just beautiful poems I love these pages then this was in the back of these books I just thought it was kind of cool with all the little um, cutouts there and I did give you some of these in with the extras if you wanted to fussy cut. Here's a playing card. Um, this was out of some kind of children's reader. I think this is from like the Little House on the Prairie. More bird book, coloring book page. And this is from um, The Night Before Christmas. And then back here, same thing. I gave you another um, fabric pocket. And in here is another piece of stationery. And this really pretty um, Christmas card with the dog on the tractor. Just thought that's cute. That'll be tucked in there. And you can see that right there. So yeah, you've got all that room. So you've got plenty of room. So all of those pages in there and you still have all of that room to create. And that's probably because the spine is like a four inch, four plus inch spine. I've been very generous with my spines in a lot of these um, books. So that is um, the Creative Ideas Christmas 1987. Now I've got the Creative Ideas 1986 and this one has the bear. And this one will come with all of these. You get stickers. Um, some of this stuff I didn't include in the pocket, so it's just in this bag. And then here's um, an extra set of pages that you can use from all sorts of Christmas books. So three signatures in this one. Um, let me show you the spine. So that is this spine, and this is another one of those beautiful quilt tops that I had. I love this star. Just thought it went perfect with this book. And then here's another part of um, a quilt that I had with the red and white. And then I just added this and this green and added that little scrap. And it's nice and scrappy. 
three signatures, 120 some pages. And then inside here is just all the same fabric. It's this green leafy fabric. So this one, I did the same thing. I added um, some fabric pockets and in here, you're going to have that stationary and that vintage um, postcard. Trying to make room over here. Okay. Making room here. So this is going to have a mixture of papers also from all of these books and some other Christmas books. So we have scrapbook paper. This is from that Avon book, original book page. This is from a little um, House on the Prairie book. Beautiful. Got some music paper. Here's a fabric pocket. And in here, I included this napkin. You could decoupage and some extra sheets of the Dollar Tree paper. I believe this is the original book page, like in the front of this book. These are pretty. This is from a stencil book I have. And then you can kind of see some of the off cuts from some of the pages. This is um, a children's book with the fox in the winter scene. This is an ideals book. So pretty. Original book page. They're Christmas caroling. I think this is actually from an as a book of asp Aspen in color. Here's one of my um, little playing card tags, tucks, and you got the little kitty. This is construction paper, and then I sewed it to another one of those calendars, and there's a tuck spot there. Original book page, this is nice and thick. Music paper. This is from a children's book. I love the little bears. This is more of that Avon 80s book. Got the children there having some craft time. I love that image. This is double-sided um, scrapbook paper. And then I did add some trim here. This is some Dollar Tree ribbon. We're on the second signature, some scrapbook paper, little tag. This is from a cake decorating book. I love that Christmas cake. It's just gorgeous children's book, original book page. Oops, original book page. This is from um, a cookbook with chocolate. I added some Monopoly money, a page from the night before Christmas, the vintage book that I had. Isn't that pretty? Original book page, stationery. I sewed a playing card. This is original book page. I just thought that was really cool with the ice skates. And then here's a scene with the snowman, the wooded snowman. Stationary vintage. I sold another little playing card. This was, I got some, this and some happy mail. Night before Christmas, more of the chocolate. <laughs> this is from the back of the book. Um, children's book page. The little boy out in the winter and the snow. And then that's the back of the scrapbook paper. And then this is this round of the third signature. This is some scrapbook paper. I love this. I got this years ago. I've, I got tons of it from a thrift store and just think it's so pretty. Um, Monopoly money. Santa. You could always like color that in or use your paints. Just thought that was cool. That little girl. Um, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. And then here is the inside page of this book. Ideals, uh, coloring book page, bird book. This is from another Night Before Christmas. Another children's book page. Just love that. <laughs> With the little kitty. More birds. Ideals, isn't that a gorgeous image? And this paper has a nice texture to it too. Rudolph, love the little sheep. <laughs> so precious, Mrs. Claus, you could so color that in, I love it. And then here's the back of that scrapbook paper, I just love that, so pretty. And then here's an envelope with a Christmas card. 
And then in the back, here's another one of those scrappy fabric pockets. Here's a couple of sheets of stationery. And then this is from a Better in Homes um, Christmas magazine, I believe 1983 or 84. So you have that. So that is this, that one. So I will have the 86 with the star and the 87 with the heart. These are listed in my Etsy shop. I'll leave all the details in the description down below. Okay, now I'm going to do a flip through of this one. And this one is spoken for. I think this one has a few more pages also. The owner of this one wanted Christmas papers, but she wanted winter papers too. So I did the best that I could. So this has a really nice, beautiful spine too. And this one's got more of um, the scraps of quilt that I got. And then I just added um, some more fabric here. It's got three signatures, a five hole pamphlet stitch, nice and big spine. I mean, you have all of that space. Okay, so in here and then in the inside of this one is just this green material. In, me, in this one, I covered the insides because some of the paper in here was peeling. So this is some scrapbook paper. I made a pocket. Here's some rickrack. I just added a little snowman. And then in here, I've got these Holly Hobby um, tags and some stationery. And then here's just a bookmark I had made oh, a while back. So I'm just adding that. I had a few left, so I just thought I would put them in a few of these journals. Okay, so we've got snowmen, um, scrapbook paper, and then here is an envelope with a Christmas card. I've got this 80s book that my mom gave me, and I love the paper. I love how it's, um, I love the color of it. It looks like it was, it, it is vintage because it's the 80s, but it looks really vintage because of the color. And then you have all of the space to write. Um, deli paper, original book page, because here's the snowman. Um, ideals, this is original book page and I just added one of those tags. This is from um, a vintage night before Christmas. And then here's some of the winter papers I pulled. This is from a children's book with the snowflakes. They're eating pancakes, scrapbook paper. Here's another winter scene. And then I have this little book. It's cute. It's the Red Fox in Winter. So I added some pages from that. It's a smaller book. I thought, why not? More winter pages, so pretty. Scrapbook paper, got them out sledding night before Christmas. How cute is that? So I did add a few more scra um, fabric scraps in this one. Original book page, ideals. Um, this is from some kind of Christmas book. This is some deli paper that I just painted on. I love this trim. I ran out of it, so I didn't add it in all of the journals that I made, but this is vintage and I got that thrifting. More of that really cool paper you could write on here. Then I tried to pull pages from my bird book with winter scenes. So we have the Cardinals. Second signature. Now this paper, because I've had it for so long, this can be any time of the year. I just love the trees. Then I have this children's book with the bears. Added that. Stationery. And then this is some of my painty paper. So you have all of this side too that you can create. Then I found this book. I forgot that I had this book, and this is an older book. Such a cute book. Look at those images. Look at the snow in the old red Chevy pickup. More bird book. Did add some Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. I had this other children's book, and I just love these illustrations. You've got the little lady over here, and she's skiing. All the cabins. Like, I love it got the cow in the barn and it's almost black and white it's gorgeous and then in that page look at that I love it I'm gonna have to try to find that book again I can't think of the name of it right now but the night before Christmas this is um I don't know this is my Aspen book that I have this is from 
This page is, was in the front of this book. This is more of that Fox book. Original book page. This is from, I believe, this is a Michigan book. So you got a winter scene. Here's one of my little pockets with these little guys sticking out. And I didn't sew all around so you could put something back here. I love that picture of Santa. Look at that. Oh, it makes me want to go skiing. I love to ski. I love to, I have backcountry skis. Hopefully this winter we get enough snow. I can just go outside my door and ski out in the field. It's just really cool. Anyways, <laughs> cabins. He's working in his shop. Look at the, the bird up there. Rudolph. Birds. More of that children's book. He's walking in the snow. The little sweet dog and cat sleeping. I made a fabric pocket and then here's that napkin and I just added a music sheet from a vintage book. More painty paper. Here's that bear. Just thought that was cute with the um, snow in the background. Got those colors. This is um, Winter Wonderland. This is scrapbook paper. I just folded it over and added a playing card. Now we're on to the third signature. And this book was really cool too, this children's book with the fox. So I added some pages from that because it's got a winter scene. Oh, this was the name of that book. It's The Snow Kept on Falling by Kathy McQuarrie. It's such a beautiful book. 1987. Then I had some um, other children's book pages with some animals out playing in the snow. Night Before Christmas. Construction paper, ideals paper. This was from, I think, a child craft book. I just thought it was cute. Another children's book, winter scene. And then I sewed two envelopes together and I stuffed some goodies in here. You're going to have some tags and some vintage cards. And then here's some recipe cards also. More of the back of the book, Santa. That's a really pretty winter scene. Construction paper. The bear, he's hibernating. <laughs> the groundhog, he looks hungry and cold. <laughs> and that's from that book. So pretty. Grandma's reading to the children. I love it. And you got another winter scene. And then the back here is just um, some scrapbook paper. I didn't put a pocket here, so you could put a picture here if you wanted. So that is the Christmas 1985. And it's going to come with these goodies. Well, thank you guys so much for stopping by. 1986 and 1987 are listed in my Etsy shop. I will leave the details in the description down below. I had some other special request journals that I'll be doing flip throughs through just to give you guys inspiration. I have those done. I just need to make the video and post the pictures. Then I will have three more journals and that's all I'm gonna have for Christmas. I do still have some Christmas journals in my Etsy shop and I might do another video with those just to kind of re-show you them. But I have three more little ones and they're made out of candy boxes. So I will have those, um, that video up soon and they'll be listed soon also. All right, guys, once again, as I always say, get outside today and find some beauty and find some time for yourself to create. Thank you so much for being here. I'll see you soon.